Feels like Yankee Stadium. Oh, that was a good shot. I got that one pretty good. Kao Kishimoto, the Glovemeister, oversees a team of highly skilled technicians at the Mizuno Pro Glove Factory in Haga, Japan, as they hand make some of the world's best ball gloves. Mizuno takes pride in their glove making process and invited me out to Haga to see how a professional glove is made. Oops. Oh, Mike. High in the mountains northwest of Osaka, the Haga factory makes gloves for about 40% of Japan's Nippon Professional Baseball League and some of MLB's best defenders. To make a glove worthy of Wizards, it takes teamwork, laser precision, and good old-fashioned sweat. Here's how it's done. First, the leather is selected for quality and durability. Then, specific parts of the hide are cut based on where they'll be used in the glove. Then the leather is stamped with model numbers and brands. Then it's embroidered for that personal touch. The leather is sewn together inside out to make the shell. The shell is then flipped right side out for the remaining steps. This is where the break-in begins, and the glove starts to take shape. The form fit lining is then prepped with glue. And installed inside the shell. The binding shores up the exposed edges of the leather. Padding is inserted into the pinky and thumb, giving the glove its basic structure. Once the web is laced and the glove is fully assembled, it goes to Mizuno's closer, Nori Ito. Known to big leaguers as the magician, Nori is Mizuno's liaison to pros like Angelton Simmons, Nick Ahmed, Didi Gregorius, and new addition Fernando Tatis Jr. Nori's task is to create the singular shape and feel that a player needs to complete that final and most important step to the glove making process. Making the play. For over a century, professional ball players have been making their plays with Mizuno gloves. I think the guys that are extremely good at their craft want to wear, want to wear the best glove. You know, I, I think Mizuno delivers that for myself and the other guys as well. 
In the next episode, we'll visit Mizuno's Batman for a mesmerizing look at how a pro bat is made. <laughs>